Hello and welcome to a look at Tormentus. Uh, this is a demo, it's part of the Steam Endless Replayability Fest. I would like to do a very quick shout out for the developer because when I went to play this earlier, it I couldn't because um, you weren't able to like actually get into um, any of the maps, multiplayer or single player. Uh, sent them, I sent them a, well, I, I shouted out on Twitter saying like how am i supposed to play this because nothing's working something like that i don't know i mean the point is i said something on twitter uh and they fixed it really quick and um while i was waiting i took a nap i mean because i was exhausted because i hadn't slept much but anyway that, not the point um they fixed it really really quick i'm super appreciative of when developers waste no time in trying to fix issues for their players so, definitely some kudos there. And now we just, you know, we, we go back into just just trying to experience the game. What do we get here? We get a whole thing of loot. Some experience. Uh, looks like a helmet and some pants. My weapon is weak. Your blacksmith can craft weapons for you at your level. All right. Looks like I got a new spell as well. All right, we can salvage stuff. I mean, it seems like I should just buy these. Like, a... can I do that instead? Now, I am playing a wizard of sorts, so I'm gonna put those towards that. Pants and helmet. I think we're good. I like it when you are able to still wear like a bunch of stuff, even if it doesn't really fit the traditional. I don't know, play style or whatever of that character class. Uh, there were a couple of different choices, but I chose the mage. I'm assuming that because like it's kind of like the early missions that that is why it's so easy here like there's just not a lot of it's not very many enemies these uh, dungeons are very very short I mean, I don't think, it, I think vitality is really all that necessary. Oh, good. We can double click to equip. What is this? We have gems. Yeah, whatever. We don't need them. I do feel like I have to push a lot of buttons. And this is what, the third, third place so far? But it's it feels a lot like the first place. These these locations aren't very different. I mean, there's traps here, so I mean, I guess it's a little bit different. Wow. Okay, good job, trap. I almost wonder if you can just straight up avoid the enemies. Do you even need to fight in this? Can I just run to the exit?
I mean, I feel like it would not be the most beneficial thing ever to just kind of directly... run to the exit, but I'm going to do it for the next one. The next one, I'm just going to go to the exit and then I'm going to see if it's possible. I'm going to see if that works. Uh, and also because, uh, you know, from the experience thus far, probably just actually, you know, I'm just going to run to the exit now. Let's see what happens. No, we have to kill everybody. It's a small amount of disappointment to have to kill all the enemies. Like, it's not bad. Like, I totally understand. I mean, it would make sense that if you're going to go into a dungeon and you're going to loot a bunch of goodies, you're probably going to want to kill everybody to make sure they don't sneak in while you're doing stuff. But at the same time, you know, if all of the best gear is at the end, why wouldn't I just try to hurry up and get there? I would like to salvage some things. And now we can craft something even better. What is my current mage staff? Super helpful. I don't know. I don't know what my current one is. I didn't check. Oh, yeah, it sucks. All right. I mean, it did tell me that, like, I I could pro I needed to do something a little bit better, but, I mean, without really knowing how much better it's going to be, how am I supposed to know? I think there's, like, a little bit... I don't want to say there's a little bit. There, There is too many buttons and clicks that I have to do to kind of navigate that menu. Um... And it's not that there are so many, it's that um, it just feels like we're consistently loading into a new menu uh, time after time, like a Cindy Lauper song. And I don't know, it just it doesn't feel like it's necessary. It just kind of feels like this bunch of extra stuff that we're doing for unexplainable reasons. So there's one more chest. I almost wish I would have played as a different character to try them out. Like, I almost wonder if I would have enjoyed a more melee focused character. Not to say, like, I don't like the wizard. Or the mage, or you know, whatever he happens to be. But I'm not like super, super impressed with the spells that I have at the beginning here. All right, that's the exit, but I got one more chest. I figure I should probably go and check it out, just in case. Like, there's got to be some kind of goodies. And no, it doesn't look like you have to kill all the enemies, so I'm I'm kind of kind of confused. I certainly thought you had to, because it seemed to be the case, but I guess not. Is this fire resistance, cold resistance, regeneration, 
glass cannon. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, bite on steel, hardy steel. On the run, critical healing, charge, airy, tactical advantage, concentration. That sounds good. Steady aim. There's a lot of different like things to go here in the in the skill tree, but I've already gone this far. I'm just gonna keep going in this general direction. Oh, I wish I could just double click to do this. And, um... I'll craft another one of these. It's a shame that I can't craft, like, other things that would be... Good. Uh, like, I mean, I, I wish I could craft... Some other, like, things like armor or something. I definitely don't like that I have to go through all of these menus back and forth rather consistently to equip my stuff and do everything. It's just, it's just, it's a lot of, it's a lot of steps doing the exact same thing. The dungeons so far feel exactly the same. Uh, I know there's like some very slight differences, but they're mostly exactly the same. Um... So I think I'm going to switch over to the multiplayer and see if I can find like a dungeon that somebody's made if I can. Actually, I don't think it'll let you without creating your own or something. I don't I don't remember. I don't know, but I think I'm going to try that because despite, you know, trying to run through this mode and, you know, finish the dungeons and get better gear from my dude and everything. The dungeon design just leaves a lot to be desired. Which is kind of a kind of a shame because I mean the you know the tile set used for the dungeons is really nice. You know, yeah, it's the traditional synthy assets that you see in every indie game. No, not every indie game, but it's something that you see a lot of. Like, those, they, you know, when they released the Senti assets, the polygonal kits, they must have just... I don't know, things just must have gone, like, amazing for them. They must have all sat around and had, like, popcorn and drinks and, and, and whatever it is people do when they're cel celebrating things, because I, I think they're the most widely used assets out there and that being said I don't think of them as bad assets I just think that they're so common that um, you have to be careful when you create something uh, you know to ensure that you're not making something that is just gonna look just like everything else you gotta have enough variation I get anything one mage staff and a pair of pants and then we click through our multiple buttons to do everything so much clicking to do everything it's so weird do I really want to do the enchanting but I don't know if it's just I don't know if it's something that I have to progress further into to reach or you know, if it's something that I that won't be available for the demo. So it's just like, I just really, I really want to be able to do that. All right, so I think I have to make one of these. So, I don't know, let's, let's use, nope, that's not a thing. I need gold to buy pieces. I just need a dungeon room. treasury room. I have no idea how to make a treasury room. I don't know. Let's... That is just a play no room. Dungeon room, dungeon room, dungeon room. These are all dungeon rooms. Okay. And those are enemies and whatnot. Well, 
Dang. I guess I don't have the stuff that I need in order to do it. All right, let's... I, my name is Tormentus. I didn't change my name. Okay, whatever. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Let's go to the menu. See if we can't try out somebody else's dungeon. Uh... No, I don't. I don't know. This is... Okay, so offline mode, I guess I should have just been doing online mode this whole time. Because it does not carry over to your online mode, which, whatever, you know, it's fine. I, I read that and I just... I guess I assumed I might be able to just jump right in and start playing as other people are in other people's dungeons. Yeah, I know the blacksmith will give me like some extra stuff, but. It doesn't matter, there's no point at this moment. And it's just trying to fast forward through things to get to a uh, spot where we can start going into other people's dungeons. Because I think that's like the, the major selling point for the game. That's, that's the thing that will make this stand out compared to other similar dungeon delving roguelikes. I think I get enough monster teeth or whatever, or claws or whatever they are every time that I could probably just upgrade my my stuff each time. I got like nine. That's plenty. All right, dungeon should open after this. I think if you're going to play the demo, I would just play multiplayer. I mean, if, if that's really, you know, the part that's kind of required to unlock the main part of the game, uh, which is, you know, playing in the other dungeons and stuff, you might as well just stick to multiplayer. But the offline option is nice that it's there, so... I have no regrets trying it out. It's definitely a way to get a feel for the game, figure out how everything works, and feel comfortable with it. Alright, we got a dungeon. Nope, this is me uh, creating a dungeon. Okay, so I can make the treasury... I am missing loot chests. Right. 
there. One loose loot chest. Dungeon. That's that's my dungeon's name. All right, I made a dungeon. Okay, so then this takes me back to the dungeon that... I don't know what it is. Uh, auction house. Um, you can sell some things. So we get a little Diablo-esque stuff going on here. Well, how do I play like a player's dungeon? You have to create and validate your own dungeon before attacking other players. Well, how do I validate my dungeon? All right, let's see. Draft, I've, yeah, I don't care. Let's open up this one. Yes, I'd like to validate and activate this one. I'm not putting, I didn't put any effort into it because I just want to go and try it. So depending on how much money you have, you can, um, you know, make something a little bit more complex than others. All right. Our dungeon has been made, so now we can do the part that I've actually been waiting for. And that is trying someone else's dungeon. All right. And you know what? Let's just pick somebody at random. I don't know. We'll try this. Now the question is whether or not they did like I did and just threw a bunch of stuff together at random. And will I get experience for uh, completing this dungeon? So many questions. I'm hoping so because that really, honestly, like I said, I feel as though the selling point for the game is certainly playing as other people's dungeons. I could, you know, spend some time trying to make something really cool. But uh, I'm more about playing other people's dungeons. So things that I'm checking here for this is I'm going to see if like I can save this dungeon as a favorite, possibly in case it's one I really like. It's not one. Like, it is a, a corridor of lines and hallways. My dude needs a sprint. Give him some water shoes. Like, um... Uh, not water shoes, but like skis made of water and it just kind of zooms around the level. Call him the Grand Zoomster. Something like that. I don't know. I'd probably come up with a fancier name. I mean, although I didn't even name this character. I just went with the default. Alright, I got some experience and some gold and uh, an item. Uh, doesn't look like it did anything. It. I I I'm pretty sure this is the one that I just did. Um, it's a little unfortunate that it doesn't show that I've already completed the level. Um. If that was the one that I did, I don't really know. What is... Oh, I had some kind of chest things. Uh, let me get some additional things for other stuff. That's pretty cool. Like, I, I definitely feel as though this is a very cool aspect. 
And I think it's going to be the part of the game that really makes it stand out in comparison to anything that's similar to it. Um, but I also think it is very much going to be tied to the creativity of the other players. So I'm not going to really go through any other dungeons or do anything like that, but it is certainly something that is cool and has a pretty decent basis for for being something, especially for those of you who like to build dungeons. So, um, I do not mind that you have to play through, you know, actual in-game crafting levels to unlock different rewards that you can use and cash and everything. I think all that is fine, and it looks like you can always kind of go back and play them again, which is good. So... I think that's, you know, an, a nice, a nice setting for the game. So I don't, know, I don't think I leveled up again. I did. All right. The level screen for leveling up your character. It's pretty good, though. I, I guess I would have hoped to have. I, I guess trees that maybe led me towards actual skills that I could use for um, myself, because. I think a lot of these are all passive. So, I don't know. It feels like it could have been a little bit cooler for what I was going to get. And, um... I have these. But, you know, I have to level up for it to, to get it. Um, but, you know, I don't know. It, there's not really any strategy involved with actually getting the skills. And just kind of choose whatever happens to be better. Anyway, they had to look at Tormentus, uh, try it out during the, you know, endless replayability fest. If you like it, you know, wishlisted, all that good stuff. That's all I got.